an easy 18k drive from Northampton, the beachside getaway of Horrocks, permanent population 134, really is a hidden gem. Although maybe not for long. The quaint and practical holiday shacks are being joined by bigger homes. So Horrocks Beach was named best beach in Australia, which is well deserved, but I was actually a little bit gutted because everyone knows about it now. So why would you say it's the best beach? Oh, look, Horrocks Beach is a stretch of about two and a half k's of, of sand. Um, it's got shelter by an outer reef. Um, and talking about that sand, it's absolutely unbelievable for four-wheel driving, dune buggying. And then you've got the fishing and also the crayfish. Uh, one of my little favourite spots is up uh, a bit north. It's called Little Bay. Um, so you can get up there. As kids, we used to get up there surfing, fishing all day. Um, there's a massive sand dune that you can climb up. Uh, they put some rope there now, so it's a lot easier to climb up it. Uh, and if you time it right and you're sitting up top, you can see the whales out the back and there's a lot of bird life in this area, so you have a lot of eagles coming in and swinging through. Now, the jetty is, uh, is probably the staple piece of Horrocks. Uh, it's been there ever since uh, I can remember, and that's where we did our swimming lessons. That's as little kids, we did bombies. You know, you swim out to the pontoon, and uh, pretty much when we were younger, we hung around that spot. Where is the best swimming spot, you reckon? Uh, there's a lot, but I'm going to have to say the Whiting Pool. Um, it's a little spot where it's kind of a, um, I suppose, a little circle inside some reef. Uh, they call it the Whiting Pool because a lot of whiting gets stuck in there, so you, you can obviously fish there and grab some. But you can also swim, and. Um, uh, little kids, it's all shallow, so it's very good. Talking about the fishing, why do you reckon the fishing's so good at Horex? It's probably because there's plenty of options. You can you can fish off the jetty or the beach and you can catch some tailor. Uh, you can head out in a little tinny and you can fish around the inner reef. You can drop your cray pots inside, get some crayfish. Uh, and if you feel like some bigger fish, you can head out on your boat and you can catch some, some snapper and jewfish out there. So um, there's plenty of options for fishing. And some of that fish gets served up at that general store and they have the best fish and chips in WA. And again, there's another factor, the friendliness of this place, which extends way beyond its favourite sons. So this is where Northampton locals come for their holidays, huh? Yeah, well, this is only one of the great spots. So let's finish these fish and chips and we'll go and explore some more. Deal.